Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can automate the YouTube uploading and scheduling process using Airtable, Make.com, and a combination of OpenAI and Anthropic APIs. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Michael Daigler. I help you leverage AI for your content processes, whether it's generation, repurposing, automation, ideation, anything that has to do with content and AI. I'm your man, and if you are interested in learning more, come check out my school. Link in description. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So first, before talking about what the automation on Make does, I'm going to just show you what I am submitting to this Airtable interface, and then what our Airtable database looks like, and what we're tracking. So for the video, the first thing we need to do is just type the title that we think we want to use. So I'm just going to say Cloud3 prompting. I'm going to be using one of my older videos that I have already uploaded before, because this is just for demonstration purposes. Next, I am going to get the video that I want to upload. Here it is. And now as that's uploading, let's wait till it's done. Okay, so we will submit this and it will kick off an automation that will trigger our make.com automation. So when I submit this, it is triggering this automation in our Airtable, which if you can see on the right hand side here, this is everything we're sending. The title, the description, the time to post, the video URL, and number of segments. The number of segments, do not pay attention to that for this video because it is not relevant. This is something I'm working on with a future iteration of this automation, and I will explain why in a second. So now if I come over to my data, I will show you what we just submitted and where we're pulling everything from, and then what make automation is doing. Okay, so this is the table that has the original information we just input. You can see we have the title, schedule for, and the video file. The uploaded videos table is going to be keeping track of our YouTube description, the YouTube tags, and the video ID of the YouTube video. And look at that, we just got it right now um, after the make automation uh, has been kicked off as I was showing you this. Okay, so I think it just completed, so let me show you the YouTube video and make sure that it was uploaded correctly. And so here we go. You can see that it was uploaded. We have Claude 3 prompting as the title. Uh, it is scheduled for the time that we set. We have the description here. And that is pretty much it for how the automation is working. This is going to save me a ton of time because now once I'm done with the video, I can simply come here. I can upload the thumbnail that I make for it and tweak it to my liking if I want to. But this simply just saves me a bunch of time getting it off the ground once it's done being edited. So let's go back to the make automation. Okay, so here is where we're starting. We're starting with the webhook. And so the webhook is what we're sending the title, the record ID of the um, Airtable record we just made, the video file URL that Airtable creates when we upload the video, and the, I believe, Yes, the time to post. So what this is doing is this is downloading a URL um, with the HTTP module. And so once I've downloaded the video from the video URL from Airtable, I'm saving the video to my Google Drive. This is not as important for the entire process. This is just for me to save my videos to my Google Drive. So I'm not gonna get into it in this video. Next, what I'm doing is I'm using 1001FX and I am extracting audio from this video URL. I know that says video file. That is just the name of the variable. I know it's confusing. I needed to change it. But if you want to try out 1001FX, they are free for 100 credits. And if you're only uploading a few videos a month, I think you could get away with this automation and uploading videos and extracting the audio if you're just uploading a few videos a month. So definitely check out 1001FX. Um, it's pretty simple to set up. You just need to get your API key from that site and make.com will show you how to make the connection with your account. And what that returns us is a 
URL, which is the audio URL from the 1001 FX extract audio from video. And here's where we're going to first get the transcription of the audio. And so you'll notice there's two HTTP get files here. And I selected the second one because that is referring to this module. If I had selected this one, we would probably run into the issue I discussed earlier, where Whisper only allows you to upload files of 25 megabytes or less. And I have just a simple prompt here, transcribe the audio. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Once we do that, we are going to first call ChatGPT to correct any misspelled words in the transcription, in the text from, if I move it over here, I don't think I can, can I? Let, we can just zoom in, but the text from the Whisper transcription. And I found that Whisper is good, but sometimes it might misspell something like, you know, Claude, maybe it might spell it like C-L-A-W-D instead of C-L-A-U-D-E. And so I just have this as sort of a filter to kind of correct any misspelled words. So when we make the description for the YouTube video, we don't look like we don't know how to spell stuff. Once we've uh, done that, we're going to use the uh, corrected spelling version of the transcript and first generate uh, YouTube description tags. And I have it being output in JSON format. And the way to do that is to go all the way to the bottom and you'd want to click advanced settings here to find the response format and change it from text to JSON object. Now, once you've gotten your result from the generated YouTube tags, you can convert it into an array of tags by using this JSON formatter tool. And next, we're going to generate the YouTube SEO optimized description. And we're doing the same thing. We're just prompting Claude instead of OpenAI. And that's because I've sort of found Claude to be better for writing and a bit you know, smarter on, on that side of things. So using Claude for this, and we have the transcription or the corrected transcription. And once we've done all of that, we're going to create an Airtable record in the uploaded videos uh, table, which you saw while I was showing you, with the title, with the YouTube descriptions, and the tags. Once that is done, we are going to create the YouTube video. And you notice I have the first HTTP get file because that would actually have the video instead of the audio, which would be this one. And I'm just setting the video category to science and technology. In order to schedule YouTube videos, you simply just have to set the privacy status to private, and then it will show the publish at with the time to post. Once you've done that, you will put in the YouTube description and oh my, let's put in the tags right here. Boom. Oh, actually, I should probably do these. And then finally, I am updating the record that we made with the video's information and just simply saving the video ID. Because as I mentioned, I'm not completely done with the automation. This is just the MVP. This is just the start of what I'd like to do. And that is pretty much the entire automation. And so again, the number of segments, this was something I was trying to sort of figure out with the whole 25 megabyte size issue. And if the video is too long, then we should send like a number of segments to slice it up into and then transcribe each of the segments, combine the text, and then continue with the same process. So I had not gotten that far because I'm still rifling through some of the third party tools that Make has and just trying to figure out the best way for me to do it. But I was so excited to kind of show you this MVP workflow because I think this is gonna save me enough time already. And so if you're interested in, you know, learning more about AI and content workflows, automating this stuff, you can watch more of my videos, you can subscribe to the channel, you can drop a comment with any questions you have, and you can check out my school, link in description. Till next time, much love and peace, y'all.